Drew? It's my pleasure to, uh, to introduce Drew Palin uh, with IntelliVisit. I had the pleasure of speaking with some of your colleagues yesterday, uh, really doing interesting stuff around improving patient intake. Um, so he'll be speaking to us about AI powered and asynchronous, the future of patient triage treatment and routing. Please welcome Drew. Make sure I got the right thing here. So thanks for coming this late in the conference. I thought it'd be just my mom in the audience. So thank you very much. Makes me feel good. So in Televisit, it's a platform for virtual AI supported asynchronous care. We're trying to make healthcare in your pocket, accessible, private, and personal. It's a native mobile app. It's asynchronous on your time. No sitting in a waiting office, no scheduling appointment. When you have an illness and you need help, you pick up your phone, and the AI does a dynamic medical interview, and then a f provider who's on duty is notified. More about that in a minute. Integrate with EHR so we can extract data, we can input data back, and there's a provider portal. A lot of people have the front end, but we also have the middle part for the providers to use, which I'll so show you more about. So it's simple. You get on your phone, you put in your presenting complaint, the AI engine then conducts a dynamic medical interview based on each of your responses. It'll walk you through until it has enough information. It'll say, thank you very much. You then put in your pharmacy if you want to pick something up. And then the provider is notified that a case is waiting. It takes average five to seven minutes for the user to use it. The provider then logs on. If they have enough information, they can decide to treat. If there's not enough information, they can asynchronous, asynchronously and securely interact with you in the app to get additional information. Or either the app or the provider can say, this is not appropriate for virtual care. You need to come in. We've had 125 emergency cases. We've picked up MIs and strokes without anyone talking to a licensed provider because the AI said, this is not right. You need to go in. The provider's then notified, and we called and making sure you go in. So we're using an AI engine to do this. It's a really, it's a three-dimensional medical graph. It's got 10 million patient years underneath it, has over 220 million data points, 4,000 diagnoses. So we're not using branch tree logic or algorithms. We're using a three-dimensional medical graph supporting this. So what we do, the app, gathers the data, that's your raw patient data. It formate, formulates a JSON that is temporal order of the information it gets. That JSON is then, through the API, hits the medical graph and a micrograph is created that is a mathematical representation of your symptoms that you self-reported and the potential diseases it might relate to. And it uh, calculates the proximity of your symptom to that disease in this three-dimensional graph. Then it's run through the graph again, and a Markov model is created that's the probability of the various diagnoses that your symptoms may represent. So it's taking your current state and saying what those diagnoses might be. That's created a differential diagnostic list for the provider to then review. This is a screen for the provider to look at. It has your demographics. It has the answers to your questions. It has the differential diagnosis. They then choose one of the diagnoses, and 90% of the time, they choose one of the diagnoses provided by the AI engine. Now we're getting the full learning curve. We've conducted over 8,500 cases. We're the first company to do this in an asynchronous AI way. So we've had two clients over the past two and a half years. They've been kind of beta clients with us, getting the kinks out, making it work. You'll see it varies in terms of how many percent are treated, 60 versus 76. But they're all getting a prescription and all have some emergency cases. So these are clients that are now expanding their use of our product because it's working in real life. 
We've got a strong team of business experts, medical experts, and technology experts. So this is a startup funding. We're in the current closing of a $2.5 million round. We were cash positive last year. We're scalable. We have two key strategic partners coming on, both as partners and investors. And so we're raising money to continue to grow um, IntelliVisit. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> oh, you got a question. Uh, Babylon's also using AI. They're not in the United States. They've been funded significantly. So if, you inv if this is an investor conference, you invest in Babylon, you're late in the game now because they've had hundreds of million dollars invested. We've, we're early in the game, so we've got uh, a lot of runway to go. So um, just from a financial standpoint, we may be doing the same thing they are but we're early in the game and we have a lot of runway here in the U.S. with what we're doing. Similar approach though. Yeah, what about Teladoc? That is similar too. Yes, Teladoc though is point to point telemedicine. They're using mostly phone, some video, not using AI yet, not doing it asynchronously. So we're very different. Any other questions? Uh, no, that's, that's interesting. So w what our platform is doing is gathering information and providing that to a licensed provider who is using their medical license and their medical malpractice to treat the patient. I fully suspect sometime in the future some of these devices are going to be class one or class two likely and need some approval, but right now we always have a licensed provider reviewing the diagnosis and making the diagnosis and providing the treatment plan. What's your target market for this? If you think about your first two customers, where, where are you going next? So IDNs are clearly, we sell it to them as a software license, SaaS platform. Um, Worksite health clinics was one of ours, and now we're working really with urgent care centers where it's not only going to be remote, but when they come in, it'll be a triage tool to assess which direction they need to go and make it more efficient, more effective within an urgent care center, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent.